어릴 때 원했던 어른이 되나 Thought I found Oh w h she's mine 너 제일까 달렸던 나 Let's just take it slowly 늦지 못한 때 같은 곳을 바라보고 있잖아 Go anywhere you want to Underneath the pressure I Christina and I make these kinds of lifestyle vlogs documenting my life in my 20s. As you guys just saw in the beginning, uh, it's currently the weekend. Today is Sunday. Yesterday, uh, which is what you just saw in the beginning of this video, was Saturday. Didn't do much, honestly. It's a weekend where we're just kind of going with the flow, don't have much planned. Just went to the gym. After that, came back or I went to my parents house had some lunch there and came back home and yeah just did some cleaning i cleaned out some old makeup bags just gross and dirty um, as well as finally cleaned my makeup brushes that were long overdue <laughs> needing to be cleaned i feel like i've been doing my makeup with just a beauty sponge and a few dirty brushes which is i was just getting sick of so decided to finally wash my makeup brushes i know gross but um yeah it was breaking out and like right here and right here so and i feel like it was due to my makeup brushes so just decided to give those a clean this morning we went to the gym we're back home i just threw in a load of laundry but we're about to leave very soon john has a tattoo appointment as well as my sister and i'm gonna go with them but i'll probably flop around the area where they're getting their tattoo maybe go to a few stores go to costco maybe run a few errands because it is sunday but yeah that's basically all we have planned for today but yeah just getting ready and about to head out soon probably in about an hour to their tattoo appointment so yeah and i'll check in with you guys later before we go i'm gonna get ready but i wanted to share with you guys some of my new makeup that i've got i didn't get this during the sephora sale but merit was so kind enough to send me over a few of their products to try out um and i think i'm gonna give them a try today it's sunday and merit's all about minimal beauty minimal makeup and i wanted to share some of the new makeup products that i got you can also grab these right now as i'm filming this it is currently the sephora sale going on yeah merit's also available at sephora so you can grab some of their products there with uh, an additional discount but i want to show you what i grabbed i grabbed fox 
um, in their flesh balm. It's like this really, really pretty fall color, like a dark and a rosy color. I don't know how to describe it, but I usually gravitate towards these darker rosy neutral shades, blush shades uh, for the fall season. And then I wanted to try out their bronze bombs and I got mine in the shade Leo. And I heard really good things about these bronze bombs. Very lightweight and easy to throw on for every day, which is what I'm looking for for uh, makeup for work. So yeah, thank you uh, so much to Merit for sending these over. I'm gonna probably include some shots of me putting them on and trying them out for you guys. But yeah, I'm excited to try those out. And if you wanted to grab yourself some Merit products, they do have a lot of new products out, including their eyeshadows, which I really wanna try. They're currently at a discount at Sephora right now. But if you wanted to look on their website, cause you do get like a free makeup bag if your first purchase on their website through Merit. I think right now they have like a collab with Proenza Hule, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a really cute makeup bag. And if you buy it for the first time on their website, you'll also get that bag. But yeah, they have so many cute minimal shades and just easy to throw on products for every day. And I like their pack new packaging with the gold. It's very sleek, very chic and minimal, which I love. So yeah, feel free to check them out. I'll leave a link to their website down below if you're interested in purchasing straight from the Merit website. Sweet like gelato, they go shape of Valentino Rockin' on a high note, got a love and it's a brand new No man, I go not so dirty, no Gianna, but bad though Daddy, no, you're not so no Cause you're the one and only girl Promise, I ain't tryna play games with ya, girl Honest, you are not a side character Every day after day, I try to go out my way So what else I could do? Oh, I wanna, wanna, wanna See you every night
look in here. Feeling is an idea with roots. What the fuck is that? Huh? Oh. 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 Today, because we are observing the Veterans Day holiday, 
this week at my school, so I had the day off and finally had the time to sit down and talk to you guys about what's been going on that you've seen in the video so far. But I just had a short week at work, Monday through Thursday. I didn't do a lot until yesterday. It was John's sister's birthday, so we went out for dinner um, at this really nice Thai restaurant. And celebrated it there, it was really nice. And yeah, just throughout the week, uh, we got dinner on Monday night at the sushi restaurant, our favorite sushi restaurant, and had a normal week after that. But I felt like this week was really, really tiring for some reason, even though it was a four day week for me at work. I don't know, It. I think it was just the thought of me having Friday off that it made me even more tired throughout the week because I was looking forward to it so, so much that it tired me out. And I also, with that thought, I knew I was gonna do a lot of cleaning and putting up Christmas decorations today. So throughout the week, I kind of like didn't wash dishes or like clean throughout the week. So that kind of added to my stress and me feeling more tired. So maybe that's the reason why, but yeah, today I'm planning on doing some cleaning around the apartment and putting up Christmas decorations, some more decluttering and yeah just gonna try and enjoy today and run some errands and go to the post office as well as do some laundry and yeah so that's what's gonna happen today i don't know if we're gonna do anything else later tonight but we'll see and maybe go to the gym i'm sure we will yeah probably go to the gym later today but other than that i'm about to go get some coffee right now and head back home and start cleaning.
these cookies. So good, and I haven't had it in a long time. Mm -hmm. Nice treat to end the day. But, just got back home. We went to the gym, I went to go eat after that. Got some burgers, then picked up some cookies. But, wanted to show you my progress on Christmas decoration. I didn't film much of me decorating because I just thought getting the shots with the camera was just a bit much because there's a lot of stuff that I took down from storage. I'm not reusing a lot of my other stuff. Well, I'm reusing a lot of my old decorations, but there's some decorations I used last year that I don't want to use this year and just keep it a little bit more minimal. But let me show you guys what I got so far. It's still a mess in here. I'm going to finish cleaning up tonight. Yeah, let me show you guys what I did today. So this is the living room. I added this little garland here on our picture frame ledge and that stocking. I found it at, I think, TG Maxx last year, Home Goods. And I moved, sorry, this is just a bunch of stuff that I have to donate. We'll do that this weekend. I moved this little credenza looking thing, cabinet with our shoes in it onto this side which I did last year and kind of just pushed our table off to the side. We don't really sit at our dining table, but it's just there for now. I'll clear this stuff later. It's just a bunch of mail and books and things from work that I need to organize and clear out as well as all these bags down here. But I moved this credenza from this wall and put our Christmas tree there. I still have to put the ornaments on, which I'll do maybe later tonight. And then this is a wreath. I don't know where to hang the wreath. I was thinking on the front door, but not outside in the hall because we've gotten our doormat stolen. So I don't want to risk getting a wreath stolen here too. Um, so I might just put that on the inside part of the front door. But yeah, I didn't do much to the kitchen. Well, here, let me show you my coffee table actually before. Move on to the kitchen. There's a coffee table. Really simple. I just changed out the greenery in there to Christmas tree greenery. This cute little reindeer from Crate and Barrel from last year. I put some of those tree light up tree LED tree stems there. I have to change the batteries out. Um, and then nothing Christmassy here, but I just added all my plants that were on the dining table and in the kitchen onto this bookshelf so that they can get more sun. But that's pretty much it. Also added this pillow from storage. That's what that's looking like. And these houses which have light up candles in them that are just on the table. I like the black with the black table. And then this little arrangement here for the kitchen, which is the only Christmas thing in this corner. And then of course the greenery in this vase right here, as well as that in the entryway. But that's about it. I also have these little mini Christmas trees here next to the big Christmas tree. I thought that was fitting. But that's pretty much it that I got done. I know I said I wanted to get a lot more done today, but I wasn't able to. Decorating took up more time than I had um, thought it would because uh, it's a lot of stuff. So yeah, I'm going to finish up most of it today. Try to put away some, some things, organize things I need to donate as well as just give it a good surface clean in here. But for the most part, all my decorations are up. I do wanna go to Michael's and get some velvet ribbons to tie onto the Christmas tree as well as like on the little vases where the greenery is on um, and just in little places around the apartment. But that's pretty much it. I wanted to clean my room today. It's also a mess, but didn't get to that. So I'll have to do it another day, maybe sometime this weekend but we're busy tomorrow. We are headed to Manteca up north, I think, for John's nephew's birthday. So we might be busy the entire day tomorrow, so I might not get to clean at all tomorrow. We'll see, maybe on Sunday. Yeah, just wanted to show you guys what I got done today, what I didn't. I didn't get to do any errands out and about. I literally was in the apartment all day. I didn't get to ship out my things at UPS or USPS. So yeah, I really just spent the whole day cleaning and decorating, so.
nursing facility. Turn to that. This one? John's nephew's birthday. It's a hotel slash indoor water park slash arcade slash indoor ropes course but but yeah basically like a kid's wonderland so long day but a very fun day. We're just hung out with John's family and just spent the day there. Yeah so <laughs> a long day but fun like I just said but I'm currently icing <laughs> my tailbone as you can see here. Sorry just really bad angle. We, me and John, had to chase after his younger nephew who is like four years old because he started taking off running and he was already changed in like normal clothes, not his swimsuit and wasn't wearing his life vest and started running towards the lazy river or going up the stairs to go to the water slide but we were just really nervous so we just started chasing after him and while we were chasing after him I slipped and fell because it was really wet inside and the floors were really wet so yeah, I slipped and fell and hit my tailbone and it really hurts. And last time I slipped and fell on my tailbone was ice skating like years ago and it hurt for like a whole month. So it sucks. Um, so yeah, currently I see it right now. It's all right. It was all for good reason. His nephew's okay, <laughs> didn't jump in the pool. But yeah, so that happened today. But despite that, I had a good time with John's family. But yeah, we're just back at home, relaxing. <laughs> clean i'm happy we don't have work tomorrow it's currently saturday tomorrow sunday i'm probably gonna end this vlog here it's been about a week since i started this vlog so yeah hopefully this vlog wasn't all over the place or boring it's my first time i'm still not my first time but i'm still getting used to making vlogs filming vlogs knowing what to film talking through them figuring out what to talk about i want to show you guys my life in my 20s but Currently, I don't want to say my life is boring right now, but I'm trying to figure out what to talk about throughout the things that I do do on a daily basis. And also it's hard to film, like, I don't know, like when I go out in public, I'm still trying to get used to it. But I do want to start doing that more and learning how I can do that more or just being more comfortable with doing that. So hopefully this vlog wasn't too boring or all over the place and I hope you guys enjoyed it. But other than that, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. If you do like these videos and want to continue watching more of my life in my 20s vlogs, go ahead and click the like button down below and subscribe as well if you haven't already. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next vlog. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye.